Four months passed since the last eruption in the Sunuka crater chains of the Reconus Peninsula of Iceland. And today, 1st of April, we had an eruption. This is the eruption which has started with the earthquake swarm. That is where the magma rises and opens its way and bubbles and creates uh, uh, earthquakes. These earthquakes are now clustered in two groups. The first one, which you see here, is the one which caused the eruption in near the Grindavik, north of it. And the second one, with magnitudes over five, some of them, have started already in the north of this area. The eruption has started like this. And in less than an hour, it broke through the defensive walls of the Grindavik. These are the lava berms or walls built around the town. It cut through them and was almost uh, in the line with the previous uh, eruption that had a fissure, burnt a few houses in the past in January 2024. This case is just stopped beyond the berm, beyond the wall. This is the latest map where the Icelandic Meteorological Office, you can see that that's the extent of it, but this earthquake storm is continuing. We are now having this north of this area closer to the Vogar, not the Vogar itself. As I mentioned, some of the earthquakes are very strong. We see two clear swarms clearly in this seismogram, which shows the depth against the magnitude size of the earthquakes. And this is from the above. That was from the side toward the north we were looking. Now we are looking toward this um, bottom, to, from the air toward the down. That's the earthquake swarm I'm talking about. You can see it near the town of Vogar, no fault line. Those black lines are fault lines. But the earthquake swarm in this area is parallel to the old fault lines that we have there. First group erupted in the south near the Grindavik. Second group is there. Uh, of course, not everybody agrees with this uh, interpretation that the earthquake uh, swarm in the north will lead to eruption. Thorvaldo Thordarson, the U uh, University of Iceland uh, professor of the volcanology, believes that the eruption is over practically. And what we are seeing that the north earthquake swarm is practically uh, due to the tectonics movement of the uh, uh, plates and nothing to do with the eruption. Although he cannot rule it out completely, uh, the risk assessment for Grindavik is now changed, is not the highest risk area at the moment uh, because the eruption is over in that area. But we are waiting for the development later on as the no North Earthquake Swarm develops and we may have an eruption 